This is your produce guy, and thanks for checking us out today. We recently had uh, a question from a subscriber asking about peppers, that they'd like to see a video about peppers. So this is a response to their request. And if you have anything you'd like to see, please leave it in the comment section down below, and we will respond. Now, when they asked the question about peppers, they didn't specify what kind of peppers, and so I want to treat the, the different groups of peppers uh, on, a, on different videos. So we're going to look at uh, dried peppers, fresh chili peppers in separate videos, but today we're going to work with bell peppers. Now, back when I first got into uh, the produce business, we had two colors, two kinds of peppers. We had green peppers and red peppers. And red peppers were nothing more than green peppers that had ripened and turned red. But now we have all kinds of variety uh, that have been hybridized and, and uh, crossed, mix and match here. So we've got, uh, get your standard green bell pepper, and we have red bell peppers. I've got a sample right here of uh, yellow and even an orange. It's a nice pepper. But today at the store, this one was a little pricey. I don't know why, but these orange, they seem to be a, a little more expensive than the others typically. Uh, you also have white peppers. Uh, I've grown in my garden a, a lighter yellow pepper. This is more of a golden. There's a, a light yellow pepper. And they even come in a dark purple or chocolate uh, variety, they're called. Uh, you generally don't see those in the stores, but you can, uh, you can get them through the seed catalogs and grow them in your garden. One, uh, one other pepper that you'll see out there from time to time, and I couldn't find one today. It's a red pepper, but it comes to more of a, uh, you can see, we'll show you here, they've got the little lobes on the bottom of these peppers, and we'll, we'll draw it in close so you can get a good look at that. But uh, they come to a point, they don't have those lobes, and that is a pimento. Uh, it's a thick, walled, uh, red flesh pepper. Of course, you see them stuffed inside those delicious green olives, but you can buy them fresh in the produce department from time to time, and they are slightly different than these varieties here. And what we want to do is, as we talk about when is it, uh, when is it ripe, or with vegetables, when is it fresh and ready to use, uh, we're going to pull the camera in and get a close-up on our peppers today. Okay, when selecting a pepper, we'll use our um, orange pepper for an example here, you want to have a nice firm pepper. Uh, so you pick it up and you squeeze it. You want to make sure it doesn't have any wrinkles, soft spots, uh, any bruises, or uh, any mold growing on it anywhere. So that's what you want to look for. Now when I talk about bruises, uh, they're not bruises like you see on a banana or anything. I'm going to do something here. I don't recommend this, you doing this at home, but this is what happens at the, uh, at the store. Well, I just cracked that one. That's what I did. Let's try another one here. Now that spot right there, it's gone soft it will develop some cracks and you'll see some lighter color uh, end up on that on that bruise right there. Uh, just like a piece of stressed plastic. So anytime you see like some white spots on a pepper like this or a ring like that, it's been handled roughly. Um, your produce guys dropped it on the uh, on the ground in the store. Now sometimes you'll come in and they'll have an entire display of peppers and they'll have wrinkles. They'll be soft. Talk to your produce professional there in the store and ask them if they've got any fresh ones in the back. Don't hesitate and don't settle for uh, old peppers that have been out on the shelf for a little while. Uh, this is, oh, I promised we'd, uh, we'd show you, they have, uh, the green peppers often have these four lobes, while the other, uh, these other peppers, you can see they're different varieties, just the three lobes right there. And of course I talked about the pimento earlier that just comes to a, just comes to a point. Well, there you have it. And now you know how to pick fresh peppers at the store and the different varieties that are available to you. Thanks for the request on, uh, on this, so keep those comments coming. Please remember to subscribe to our video. Any questions, leave them down in the comment box. Thanks so much for watching today, and remember, fresh is best.